I, I know what you're thinking. All of these years together and I barely knew what to write on postcards, birthday cards. I wouldn't say that the words are coming easy for this letter. As proof, I just stared at what I've written so far for an ungodly amount of time. Who knows? Maybe I will fail to write this too. Again. And these few lines are the only explanation I will leave behind for you. Maybe the rest of the page will stay blank, which I guess means I should at least get to the point. So there's no confusion about why I stayed awake tonight, listening to you sleep, writing you this letter, the first and last one. Too cheesy? I'll cross it out. But I'm sure you will probably still try to read it. I told myself that if you woke up while I was composing this, then I would tear it up and throw it away. Take it as a sign. But if you're reading this, I guess that means you've had a full night's sleep. And I'm gone. I don't mean that you should blame yourself for not noticing, not hearing, not waking up, not knowing that this was coming. If anything, it's good that you slept. I suck at goodbyes and you don't get enough sleep anyway. For the rest of your life, you should probably make more of an effort to get rest. But wait, that's not what this is for. I don't want to tell you what to do. I don't want to pretend like I'm going to be there when I'm not. Like there isn't probably going to be some other woman telling you to go to bed and get some rest. Because there probably will be. I don't want to tell you what either of us should have done or what went wrong. I don't blame you for any of it, just like I don't blame you for not waking up to stop me from leaving. Can you even stop me from leaving? I don't know. I... I've been stopping myself from it for so long. Please don't take offense at my use of the term so long. I think we both felt the shift in our relationship some time ago and we've been clinging to things. I've been clinging to so many things in my life. And you are more to me than wreckage from a ship. Driftwood. I guess I've been hoping for something like, I don't know, fate? Some kind of divine intervention, aliens even, that would tell me what to do, which path to take. Something that would wake you up in the middle of the night with this realization that something's not right and send you running after me, but I think the time has passed for us to try to make anything better. So don't beat yourself up for that either. To keep trying to bridge things between us. It's like that project we did in 10th grade science class. Do you remember? We had to build a bridge out of popsicle sticks. The structure had to hold up under the weight of a textbook. Funny thing is, I don't even remember now whether we succeeded. Life's not that easy, is it? To bridge. Pass or fail. Strong or weak. Bend or break. Life. Things. This is confusing. 
and not homogenous. Okay. I am pretending to remember that word from science class, too. I just had to look it up on my phone. But the point is, everything is made up of all of these other things. And sometimes they just don't mix or blend or work out. How can it not work out with someone you love? How can you still want to leave? Can a miracle be a bad thing that happens out of the blue or just good things? Are there any miracles in science? I wish I could have been a happier, more settled, more at peace person. If not for myself, then for you. I have always felt like running. I've always had just too much energy. Too much unsettledness in my bones. But I have never been very good at figuring out what it is exactly that I want to chase. I'm this race that I can never stop running. Not even for someone who stands on the sidelines waiting for me like you. That's not fair. I can't stay anymore. Or at least if I'm gonna run it... I'm sorry, it can't be around the same track. How many miles have I logged? It is so... It might not seem like it, but... It is so important to me that I leave having told you how much I love you. I love you. <laughs> Why do people always say they can't imagine how this feels? I can completely imagine how you feel right now. Because I would be devastated to wake up to your side of the bed empty for you to leave me. I can imagine that you writing me a letter, you telling me that you love me, but that you have to leave, probably wouldn't do anything to close the giant hole that I would feel opening up in my chest right now. That's why I wish I could have been different from the very beginning. I wish I was the type of person who didn't put holes in other people's chests. If alternative timelines or other dimensions exist out there, then there is some version of me who would have said yes when you asked her to marry you. Who is capable of settling down in bed next to you without being seized by the feeling that she needs to leave. You could have loved me perfectly. And you loved me so well. I would still be what I am. I can imagine that if this wasn't over, if I saw you again, you'd be mad and you'd ask, why didn't I tell you any of this before? never brought it up. But I keep as much distance as I can between myself and everything. I'm not even sure I knew I was going to do this. I didn't know that I wouldn't do this either, but here we are. The page is full and you're asleep in our bed right now. Science says, nothing is stopping me. Not fate, not aliens. I love you. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry because I wish I had known this about myself earlier. I wish I'd realized 
never trusted myself to be around somebody like you. To fall in love with someone like you. Who doesn't deserve to be broken up with like this. I hope you can believe me. I didn't know. And when the thought first crossed my mind that I couldn't keep staying in this same spot anymore, it scared me too. It opened a hole in my chest too. I wish I could grab all of the pieces and force them back together. I wish I could jump timelines and be that girl who didn't forget how to speak love languages or trust or forever or however you want to think about it. But I am her. And that girl that I am, she is stalling right now. Because I keep waiting for fate to interrupt me. I'm stupid. What if I tore up this letter right now? No. But if I didn't leave, if I stay, it's a betrayal to you. I think in my heart, I've already left. And you wouldn't even know. You would think that I was going to be here forever when... But I'm not. And what, I wait to run? For how long? One year? Ten? Until we really do get married like we've talked about? Until I can't break away and we're forced to see each other for the rest of our lives because even though we don't live together or kiss or love each other anymore, we would have property and assets and pets and children. I love you. And I think a part of my heart will always hope that you'd find me and love me again someday. <laughs> I'm selfish. I'm confused and sad. And I am so sorry, but I'm leaving. XO, XO. Thank mm -hmm. you.